You know, I often share a conference a platform with a CEO of a large organization, a huge organization. And I have to say, most of the speeches go a bit like this. And please forgive me, but um, remember, I'm, I'm on next. I'm the, I'm the next speaker. So you have to imagine that I'm sitting in another chair here, OK? So I'm listening to this guy. I'm rewriting my speech as I go. Because <laughs> the speech almost always goes like this. First of all, <laughs> Then he's checking the auto cues working. And he says, well, he says, uh, as you can see, we um, did this, that, and the other on the sales. And uh, we increased our market cap, as you can see very clearly here, by 2.15%. And I'm pleased to say that we confounded all the analysts. And uh, we will improve our market share, I believe, by 3.5% in the next six months and 4.2% in the following eight months. And all the rest of it, and all the rest of it, well done, and everybody else. And may uh, you enjoy your Christmas bonus, and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm on next. Actually, during the speech, I've been panicking. See, I, I, I'm, saying, I'm saying to Sandra here on my left, hey, Sandra, how's it going? She says, oh, oh, you woke me up. I was asleep. <laughs> Sorry. He's still going strong about market cap. We're on our 48th slide. I can't read any of them, but never mind. So I, 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 I dig Tim. He looks up like a startled rabbit. He's doing his Blackberry under the table. <laughs> I ask Jim. I say, Jim, got any guidance for me how I follow this? He says, God help you. Now, the trouble is, I'll tell you what's really sad. The CEO comes off and he sits down and he thinks he's made the speech of his life. <laughs> he actually thinks, according to his coach, that he did rather better than last year. <laughs> he actually thinks that he is now given the marching orders which will drive change through the whole organization for the next 225 years. <laughs> trouble is, I saw the energy melt away almost the moment he got up. I saw nothing in terms of passion around the room. Why? Hmm. Let me ask you another question. <laughs> See, I'm doing a book. It's called uh, People Who Get Out of Bed to Make Shareholder Value and Bottom Line Profit. <laughs> oh, that's why I'm having trouble. <laughs> I said to my publisher, this is a great one. Everybody's talking about it. So uh, let's. Uh, so I started to interview people. I'll try. Please put your hands up. Uh, put lights up. Put your hands up if you know someone who says, "Oh, thank God I'm alive today." Let's go and make more shareholder value, bottom line profit, and Excel spreadsheet numbers. Ah! <laughs> put your hands up if a session in almost every event you do contains that rhetoric, language, and a load of stuff. What are we doing? We're promoting things that we know that people on the whole don't care about. They care about themselves. Yes, stimulating uh, job, being stretched, imagination, dynamic team. I enjoy the team, uh, the atmosphere. I'm provoked. Yes, I, I care about my family. Yes, I've got passions for the community. But what about that stuff? Life is more than that. Here's another speech. Insurance company executive. He says, as you know, we exist to pay out, not to collect. Our purpose as an insurance company is to pay out when people are in trouble. And I'm proud of our record. I'm proud to tell you that this year we paid out to help over 26,000 people who became orphaned because both mother and father died in a car crash. I'm proud to tell you that we were there for another 18,400 people across America who lost their homes through fire, earthquake or flood. I'm proud to tell you that we were there at times on long calls when sometimes it even took someone 25 minutes on the end of the phone of silence before they were even able to tell our call center operative their name. And the reason? Because two hours earlier, her husband had dropped down dead. And she's not even sure where the insurance policies are 
or whether the mortgage is covered. I tell you, my friends, we are about protecting lives. That is what we are for. We collect premiums in, and almost every penny of what we're collecting goes straight out. We run almost our entire administration on the amount of money we've got in the bank and the interest we earn. We are a community cooperative, and yes, we make money. And you know who we made money for this year? 75% of all the wealth we created in the last 12 months went to the pensioners of America, and I'm proud of that. At this time when people are losing their homes through subprime, at the time when share prices can't be trusted, I resolved that I would take in trust the money that's given to me by pensioners and people like you and I, putting money in, setting aside for the future. You and other pension funds invest in our corporation. We are building the wealth for the future. I'm proud of the profits we make. I'm proud of what we do. I'm proud of the way we change people's lives. And I want you to join me in going the extra mile and making the difference when it means being more efficient, cutting costs, being more effective, more caring, more sensitive, and let's go and sell a whole lot more product because we believe in it. Thank you very much. And you touch passion because passion, my friends, is about more than data and more than logic.